So this video is actually going to be a fairly detailed overview of retopology in Modo 601. In my previous quick tip I showed you how you could use the uh, work plane in conjunction with uh, just a simple cylinder primitive to retopologize an arm really quickly. Well I'm going to show you another trick that's very very similar and potentially even quicker. Um, I'm in the topology tab and I'm going to hit F2 to bring up my modeling toolbar and this time instead of using a cylinder I'm actually going to use a tube tool and the reason this is really good is you can use it for arms, fingers, um, it's very very quick you can create a whole hand in a few seconds so I'm just going to show you how it works on this arm now because this model is actually in the uh, center of the world I don't need to reposition my work plane because it, as you can see it's intersecting the arm quite nicely so I'm going to activate my tube tool and uh, I'm going to make sure caps is off so I don't have to delete the caps when I've finished and I'm going to make sure so by length is ticked on and that makes sure that the uh, the spacing of the uh, of the uh, polygons is going to be nice and even and I'm just going to simply click in the viewport and um, create my geometry. Now it doesn't uh, line up brilliantly because I haven't actually gone to the trouble of um, aligning my work plane perfectly. It doesn't matter, I can really quickly reposition it um, even if it wasn't perfectly positioned, it will be fine when it snaps to the geometry. Now while the tube tool is still active I can change the number of sides and also the number of segments and I can um, control the radius so it doesn't really matter about the radius I just need to make sure that it's bigger than the arm that I want to, it to conform to and once I'm happy with all that I just drop the tool and make sure that from the topology toolbar I activate the smooth tool and bang there it is it's done very very quickly So at this point you probably switch to your topology pen and edit the topology that you've just created. So if you just click and drag on any element, be it a vertex, an edge or a polygon, you can uh, move these along the underlying geometry and uh, they'll always conform to the underlying shape. And there's also a bunch of very useful shortcuts that you've got with the topology pen. So when you're in the main mood mode, you can access all these extra modes uh, without actually having to go to the properties panel. So for example, if you hold down shift and uh, click and drag on an edge, you can create a new polygon from that edge. If you click and drag on a vertex by holding down shift, you can do exactly the same thing, but this time from the vertex. If you hold down shift and right click on an edge, it will duplicate the entire loop this time, so that's very useful. If you hold down shift and uh, middle click anywhere on an edge, it will add a whole additional loop at the point where you click, so that's very good for creating additional detail. Um, you can also delete edges and polygons, so if you hold down control and um, you middle click on a polygon, that will delete that polygon. If you hold down control and middle click on any uh, edge, it will delete that edge, so that uh, leave you with a, an end gone in this case. And finally, if you use the middle mouse uh, without any modifiers, you can quickly cut a uh, polygon, so just make sure you highlight a vertex very carefully. and hold down the middle mouse button and you can see that you've got a cut tool and you've quickly created an edge that connects these two vertices and basically splits the polygon in two. Now one thing I find in the topology tab is that sometimes because uh, the uh, viewport is a little bit darker than the regular modeling viewport in topology mode things can get a little bit dark so sometimes if you're at certain angles it's, it can be a little bit hard to see so one of the ways that I um, have of fixing that is basically to create a custom sort of lighting rig for my viewport. So uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, lights are visible. I'm going to hit the O key on the keyboard and uh, make sh show lights on. Uh, obviously with the default lighting scheme it's even, actually even worse than, uh, than, than it was without. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this directional light off and I'm going to add some directional lights. So I go lights directional light and that adds one in this position. I'm just going to go to the display tab and just make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to duplicate this and hit my uh, E key to bring up the rotate tool and holding down control I'm just going to rotate this copy pointing straight up and I'm going to duplicate this light and uh, again bring up the uh, rotate tool, hold down the control key and um, rotate it facing down and I'm going to go back to my original and I'm going to duplicate that one more time and bring up the rotate tool, hold down control and then I'm going to point it backwards. So now when I um, have show lights on you can see that things are a lot clearer. So what I could do 
is um, stick all these in a group so that they're all together and I can turn them on and off all in one go and also um, there are still because I didn't create six lights, I only created four. If I wanted to illum illuminate this area a bit more clearly, I can just um, I can just rotate the entire group in the y-axis and uh, really quickly uh, reposition my lights. So I can rotate that 90 or bring it back to zero or whatever. So it's very versatile. And uh, another thing you can do is to just save this whole uh, this whole sort of set of lights as an assembly uh, in your presets so that you can just drag and drop them into your scene at any time if, uh, if this is something that you find yourself needing a lot. Um, and on the subject of visibility I just want to talk about a couple of options you have for displaying inactive meshes. So if you hold down control 6 this brings up the pie menu that uh, gives you all your options for inactive. So I usually use either flat shaded or invisible. And the good thing about invisible it means that you can uh, you can still conform to the background mesh because it's still there and all the tools will still um, use the uh, background mesh constraint but you can just concentrate on your new topology. Um, also if you want to quickly go in and out of the uh, topology shading mode hold down control 4 and you can toggle between the normal advanced OpenGL and the topology mode. So I'm just going to quickly bring back my flat shaded inactive mesh. One thing that you're going to need to do when you retopologize is um, increase and decrease the um, level of geometry in different parts of your model. So for example, this, uh, this arm has got uh, ten, 10 segments going around it, but obviously when it comes to doing the fingers, we're going to need a lot more geometry. So how do you increase the level of, uh, of detail as you, as you move through different parts of a mesh? Well, one way you can create additional edges really easily um, I've got the topology pen active and I'm going to shift drag on this edge here to drag it out just before the knuckle and I'm going to grab this next edge and do the same thing but I'm going to make sure that I don't weld it so um, basically it's left this sort of triangular gap and now if I shift drag on this vertex I can drag out a quad that fills this triangular shape so by doing this we, we're still all quads but we've uh, created two additional edges to give us extra uh, resolution as we move down to the fingers. So um, same thing again here. Now if you ever do end up with a triangle, for instance if I just drag this vertex and snap it here, we've got a triangle here and you need to split it into a quad, what you can do is hit F2 to bring up your modeling tools and go to the edges tab and just go add point and then you can just add a point here on this edge switch back to your topology pen and as you can see we're back to all quads. And when you need to reduce the uh, level of geometry you use a very similar process but in reverse that involves creating these triangular shaped quads. So uh, if we've got ten edges going around this this arm and we need say uh, eight edges going into the shoulder what we can do is with the topology pen active we um, control middle click on this edge to delete it and this leaves us with an end gone so if we grab these vertices that are either side of the one in the middle and just weld them to this middle vertex we are now left with uh, one of these triangular shaped quads because it's got this uh, this point here at the bottom and uh, by doing this procedure we've uh, deleted two edges so we're now left with eight edges so join me for the next part where I'm going to show you how to really quickly retopologize an entire hand and arm.